Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Just want to say uh, good evening to everyone to the east to west coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today. Happy Friday. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend. I know I will. And uh, for this video, I'm going to talk about some very big news coming from both DC and Marvel when it comes to their television shows. So let's get right into it. First up, ABC renews Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and picks up Agent Carter. This is from Comic Book Resources. Uh, the link will be in the description be uh, below. Uh, actually, um, the information I'm getting comes from uh, uh, comic book resources as well. And so all, all links will be in the description below so you guys can check it out. But here we go from Albert Ching, senior editor of comic book resources. It's a good day for Marvel TV. ABC has renewed Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for second season and gave a series or to Marvel's Agent Carter as, as announced at, on Marvel.com. The second season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is said to start in the fall of 2010, though no time frame was given for Agent Carter debut. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was considered a safe bet for renewal by industry tracking site TV by the numbers, who earlier this week gave it a, a 100% chance of a trade for season, for season 2. An Agent Carter series was first reported as a possibility back in September, depicting the further adventures of Peggy Carter, Haley Atwell, and the early versions of S.H.I.E.L.D. post-World War II. The character first appeared in live action in 2011's Captain America, the first Avenger, and Atwell reprised the role in the Agent Carter. Marvel one-shot short film, bundled with last fall's Iron Man 3 home release. Okay. Deadline has a serious depiction for Agent Carter. It, it, it's 1946. A piece has dealt Pay Carter with a serious blow as she finds herself marginalized with, when the men return ho home from fighting aboard. Working for the convert SSR, uh, strategic, no, um, what's it? strategic scientific reverse, Peggy must balance doing administrative work and going on a secret missions for Howard Stark. All while trying to navigate life as a single woman in America in the wake of losing the love of her life. Steve Rogers. Ijakara will be ex executive produced by Reaper creators uh, Michelle uh, Fasikas and Tara Butters. Captain America screenwriters uh, Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely and head of Mar Marvel TV Jeff Loeb. <clears throat> okay. And our next piece of news. From Combo Resources, MC conjures series order for Constantine. Just hours after the CW gave series orders to The Flash and Izabi, NBC announced it has picked up Constantine based on DC Comics trench coat wearing paranormal investigator. Executive producer David S. Grohl and Matt Steele, Dark Knight Rises, and Dan Surround uh, Dexter, the, Men the Metallist. Series stars Matt Ryan, Criminal Minds, as John Constantine, as master of the occult, with a wickedly gnarly wit. The, the cast also includes Lucy Griffiths, True Blood, as Liv, Harold uh, Perdue, as Lost, as the authority of Angel of Andy, and Charles Harford, True Detective, as Constantine's good friend, Cass. Of the supporting cast, only cast originates in the Hellblazer comics. However, Gorotis have marched that quite a few characters, characters from the comic books and possibly from DC, DC Universe should we move forward will be showing up. I think we should try to bring in some of the other occult figures. Constantine, The Flash, and Isaac will join a slate of DC comic based adaptions that already includes Gotham, which Fox announced on Monday, and Arrow, which is wrapping up its second season on the CW. And finally, last but not least, The Flash, Isaac will get a series of orders from the CW. Both of DC Comics' base pilots in contention for a spot on the CW's 2014-2015 schedule, The Flash and iZombie, have gotten series orders, according to Deadline. The Flash pickup was largely expected, with iZombie more of a surprise. Additionally, the site shared network descriptions of both shows. The Flash Barry Allen is a Central City Assistant Police 406 investigator who arrives with Starling to look into a series of unexplained robberies that may have a connection to a tragedy in his past. A comic book fanboy, Barry is obsessed with the Arrow, unaware that working with Oliver Felicity to solve the crime has brought him, to, brought him right to the dangerous world of the vigilante. 
Cass, Grant Gustin, Jesse L. Martin, Rick Consett, Danielle Pennebaker, Kenneth Patton, Carlos Valles, Tom uh, Canavan, John Wilson Ship, better known as the uh, Flash in the 90s, uh, Michelle Harrison, Pat and Patrick Cinnabar, uh, I Zombie. The medical student turn the zombie takes a job in Cora's office. They get access to the brain she must reluctantly eat to maintain her humanity. But with each brain she consumes, she inherits the Cora's memories. With the help of her medical examiner boss, police detective, she solves homicide cases in order to quiet disturbing voices in, in her head. Cast uh, Rose McElver, Malcolm Goodwin, Alexandra Carnsey, David Andri Enders, Robert Buckley, Nora Dunn, Rolo Coley. Okay. The Flash TV show spinning out of fellow DC based CW series era was first announced to be in development last July at the Television Critics Association Summer Press Tour. Arrow executive producers Greg Berlanti and Andre Kirsberg are at the helm of the series, according to the pilot script with DC Chief Creative Officer Jeff Johns. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot to take in. Uh, but for me, I think this is all good news for both Marvel and DC. And for, you know, CW, ABC, and NBC, too. I'm very looking much forward to all of these, all of the, uh, shows, including, um, Agent Carter and iZombie. I know who The Flash, Constantine, um, Arrow, and, you know, you know, um, Agent Carter are. But uh, I Zombie is kind of like the wild card for me because I don't know that much about the character, but I am really looking forward to it. And I think uh, today, you know, and the past week is it feels very good to be a comic book fan and to enjoy the you know the comic book shows that we see on television today from both Marvel and DC. Because uh, to me, I'm always going to be a comic book fan. I'm not taking one side and just you know. Um, being biased, but uh, yeah, so tell me in the comments below, guys, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You're in the middle, are you neutral about it? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, which shows do you like? Which shows are you looking forward to and that have your interest? And uh, this is Nathan saying peace, take care, guys. Uh, I will see you for the uh, next video coming up very soon. And uh, I'm out, peace, bye, guys.